Hi everyone, in this video we will be discussing about the interior of right atrium. So we know that there are totally 4 chambers in the human heart. They are the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium and the left ventricle. So the right atrium is one of the 4 chambers of the human heart and its shape is quadrangular shape. There are totally 3 surfaces on the 4 borders of the heart. The 3 surfaces are the sternocostal or the anterior surface, diaphragmatic surface and the left surface. The four borders are the superior border, inferior, left and right borders. So the right atrium lies in the sternocostal surface and in the right border. It receives the blood from the two openings, so the upper and lower parts of the body. So the deoxygenated blood from the upper parts of the body is received by the superior vena cava and it opens into the right atrium. And the deoxygenated blood from the lower parts of the body is received by the inferior vena cava and it also opens into the right atrium. As the blood flowing through the superior vena cava is by the gravity, there is no chance of backflow. But in the case of inferior vena cava which is pumping the blood against the gravity, there is a chance of backflow. So in order to prevent this backflow, there is a valve present in the inferior vena cava called the Eustachian valve. Note that there is no valve present in the superior vena cava. The right border of the atrium from the superior vena cava to the inferior vena cava contains a group that is called the sulcus terminalis. So the upper part of this sulcus terminalis contains a conducting node called the SCA node. It is also known as the pacemaker of the heart. And the upper border of the right atrium is like ear shaped projections over the ascending part of the aorta and some part of the pulmonary trunk. This ear shaped projection is called the auricle. It is a non-functional part. But clinically it is a common site for the formation of blood clots. These clots enter into the right ventricle and then they enter into the pulmonary arteries causing a clinical condition called the pulmonary embolism. Coming to the interior of the right atrium is divided into the anterior rough part or the pectinate part and the posterior smooth part. The posterior part is also called the sinus venarum because evolutionarily it is derived from the sinus venous of the quadrupeds. The smooth part is separated from the rough part by a partition internally called the crista terminalis. So the partition from the outside is called the sulcus terminalis and the partition from the inside which is separating the anterior rough part from the posterior smooth part is called the crista terminalis. The anterior rough part is also called the atrium proper and it is a true uh, atrium and there are muscular ridges which are formed from the muscular pectinate from the primitive atrium. The arrangement of pectinate muscles is the reason for the rough appearance of the anterior part and there are more number of pectinate muscles present in the right auricle which is the ear shaped projection of the right atrium. Coming to the smooth part, all the veins of the heart including the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava opens into the smooth part of the right atrium. All the veins of the heart like a great cardiac vein, middle and the small cardiac vein etc. opens into the smooth part of the right atrium through an opening called the coronary sinus. This coronary sinus is guarded by a valve called valve of Thebaceus. There are two kinds of veins that open directly into the right atrium. They are the anterior cardiac vein and the vena cardia minimi. Vena cardia minimi drain directly bred into the four chambers of the heart. They are the small openings, you can see them in the given slide. So all the veins of the heart opens into the coronary sinus except the anterior cardiac vein and the vena cardia minimi. Anterior cardiac vein drains the blood from the infundibulum of the ventricle and the vena cardia minimi drains the blood from the all the four chambers of the heart and drains into the all the four chambers of the heart. The right atrium is separated from the left atrium internally by a septum called interatrial septum. We can feel a round oval shaped smooth depression which is present in the interatrial septum called the fossa ovalis. The fossa ovalis is surrounded by a margin called the limbus fossa ovalis. Talking about the embryological origin of this fossa ovalis and the limbus fossa ovalis, the fossa ovalis is the embryological remnant of the septum primum and the limbus fossa ovalis which is the margin of fossa ovalis is the embryological remnant of Septum secundum. So the fossa ovalis uh, comes from the septum primum and the limbus fossa ovalis from the septum secundum of embryological origin. During the fetal life, the fossa ovalis was called the foramen ovale and it was open. So there was a direct communication between the right atrium and the left uh, atrium in the fetus. 
But as the baby was born, the foramen oval, which was open uh, during the fetal life, closes and it forms a oval shaped smooth depression called the fossa ovalis, which is formed by the fusion of septum primum and the septum secundum. Here, the septum secundum is changed into the limbus fossa ovalis and the septum primum is changed into the fossa ovalis. This foramen oval appears in everyone before the birth and it closes after the birth and by forming the fossa ovalis. But in some people, it fails to close naturally even after their birth. This condition is called patent foramen oval. So the patent foramen oval is a clinical condition in which the foramen oval fails to close even after the birth. Another important part of this right atrium is the presence of triangle of coach. So it is a triangular area present between the coronary sinus and the tricuspid valve. So it is bounded posteriorly by the tendon of Todaro which is a fibrous extension of the eustachian valve of the inferior vena cava and the anterior border formed by the septal leaflet of the tricuspid valve. We know that there are totally three uh, leaflets for the tricuspid valve. They are the septal leaflet, anterior and the posterior leaflet. So the anterior border of this triangle of coach is formed by the septal leaflet of the tri tricuspid valve. And the inferior body is formed by the coronary sinus. So it is an important landmark for the presence of the atrioventricular node or the AV node. So after discussing about the structure of the right atrium, we came to know about the position of SA node and the AV node. The SA node is present in the upper part of the sulcus terminalis and the AV node is present in the triangle of coach.